same stuff, different day. I'm building cabs, getting a lot of stuff out. We are now building some really cool effects pedal cables and cables to run from your effects looper or effects control panel to your effects pedals. We're not doing anything long for that. We always refer people to Spectraflex at spectraflex.com. That's S-P-E-C-T-R-A-F-L-E-X.com. David Russell, he is the owner and one of the coolest guys you'll ever meet. If you ever get to meet him, I highly recommend it. Um, let's see what's going on. I've been working on a 4x6 for base, and the math is all done. The prototype is done. It looks mean as hell, and it literally punches you in the gut. Unlike our other cabs, which are not beamy, this is a tad bit beamy, but that is the point. So that'll be out probably in another month because it takes me forever to get from prototype to finished product. Um, unfortunately, we lost one of our really, really good employees. She finally graduated from Purdue University and is now a elementary school teacher so congratulations to Abby and our other help our wood shop my main wood shop guy Kyle 2.0 he is back at school in Florida he is uh, going to be a chiropractor and the dude has like three degrees so we knew we were going to lose him but we got some other stuff in the works, and we're cranking stuff out. We have a lot of stuff in stock, which we didn't usually used to do. Um, we're always trying to cut down on wait time. Everything on the EarCandyCabs.com website is directed to whatever product it is you're looking at. It's directed to the same product on Reverb. We're kind of converting our presence over to Reverb.com. It streamlines everything. It explains the wait time and the build process. And it's just a lot easier for us because we have uh, four or five really fantastic account reps at Reverb that help us out with stuff. So that's going on there. Um, the Ear Candy site will actually be merged with Reverb.com. It's just taken a while because there's a lot to it. Um, you can always find us on YouTube by typing in Ear Candy TV into your URL spot or space or bar or whatever it's called. And uh, we are working on an album that is due. Well, it's not due. It's whenever I get it done. Um, sometime like around March of next year, um, the stuff we're using to get that done, obviously, Ear Candy Cabs, um, Eminent Speakers, organic timber rhapsody speakers or a rhapsody speaker you only really need one of those in a sovereign 112 um my friend uh han he he's in north carolina he owns organic timber and uh he makes one speaker called the rhapsody 12 and it's amazing um it it has the appearance of an EVM 12L, but it is not a copy of that. It is actually, um, it's his own thing. He's an engineer, and when you put one of these things in a Sovereign 112, it's just an amazing tone. It's nice and warm and reedy and buttery. It's kind of almost everything you want. It's a little on the heavy side because it's got a magnet a little bit bigger than the EVM 12L. 
but it's got a gigantic vented pole piece and it just brings guitar tone to life. Um, not to disparage any other guitar speakers, we're getting ready to start working with warehouse guitar speakers, which is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to that. They have a lot of nice stuff. So we're spreading out our availability of drivers, you know, from Eminence. Obviously, you know, we'll always be with Eminence. We've been with them for almost 20 years, and um, Chris and everybody there takes really good care of us, and they make awesome stuff. It's made in the USA, so we love that. Um, organic Timber is made in the USA, and so is Warehouse Guitar Speakers. Um, we do carry Celestion, of course. We don't do a lot with them. I don't get asked for them very much, but uh, if you want something with a Celestion in it, we can definitely get you Celestion. Um, let's see what else is going on. We're using a Korg, um, a Ranger, some ADA stuff, old school ADA stuff. Um, all the amplification is Ignator or Fender. Um, and there is a couple of things that are going to be in there that we're using a Line 6 modeling amp, the old duo verb, which, in my humble opinion, is one of the best-sounding solid-state modeling amps that there is. And then we'll be using a Hot Tone Heart Attack for some riffs just to um, show how angry and mean that little bastard is. It's a little 5-watt solid state amp that you can fit in the palm of your hand you can check them out at hottoneaudio.com they make several different um models of amps you know anything from like vox to marshall to mesa boogie the heart attack is is the mesa boogie model um but they have different names obviously for copyright reasons or whatever but uh, hottoneaudio.com and make all kinds of cool stuff um, we'll be using amp clamps and uh, uh, one of the cooler best sounding things that we're using to mix is the Allen and Heath uh, mixer the, the Z they make some really nice mic preamps so we'll be using the mic preamps for that um, God, we got 31 pedals that we're going to be kind of exclusively using. Um, the album isn't really a commercial for this stuff. It's just what I personally like and personally use. Um, everything from uh, <laughs> the Cowboys from Hell Wah, um, Protone Pedals, Digitech, um, we're using some really cool stuff from this guy. His name's Brian. He owns Saturn Works Pedals out of California. You can find him on Reverb. Um, Electro Harmonix, uh, Will Sledge Effects, the Line 6 DL4, Barkus Berry. Of course, there's some Boss stuff in there. And uh, that's about it for right now. The speakers that will be on the album are... Um, of course, a Wizard, a CV-75, the Eric Johnson Alnico. Um, Eminence has sending me a Maverick, which has the uh, the attenuator on the back. So we'll be using that in an open back American Classic ear candy cab. And I think we're going to record a couple clips with the new 2x5. We've got a little 2x5 coming out. And we also have a 6x9 coming out. And the 2x5 speakers and the 6x9 speakers are made by um, Jason Tice at Hippopotamus. Um, he makes some crazy cool stuff. He's got some patented copyrighted formula for his hemp cones. And uh, they sound sweet. They sound really sweet and like warm. Um, you kind of have to hear one to really put vocabulary to it so other than that it's just the same you know 5 a.m to 8 p.m most days i am taking sundays off completely but i do check messages on reverb so 
Uh, and, of course, technical advice is always available at 219-252-7342, and that's text message only. I don't take calls because I don't have time. Uh, other than that, I'm just hanging out with my 110-pound chocolate lab copper. Uh, my health is well, for those of you who know how sick I've been or was for several years and didn't know it. Uh, I finally got all that straightened out with the old diabetes and the insulin and lisinopro and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm getting a lot done and uh, getting to meet a lot of really cool people. And we appreciate everyone's business and patience. And we are cranking out the best stuff we have since we started doing this almost 20 years ago. So I have wasted enough of your time. And I will do another update when I find the time, maybe a week or so. Uh, the radio show, that's going to start back up here soon. Once winter kicks in is when we really kind of do the radio show more. People are so busy with the summer tour season and the summer concert season that we just don't have or get enough listeners to um, take the time to do the radio show, um, which, pardon me for taking more time, I forgot to mention a couple of the other things that we'll be using will definitely be some Mackie stuff and some Akai stuff. Um, that's for the radio show and the album coming out. So, I uh, wish everybody well, good health, good times, and we will talk to you soon. Have a great day.